Blender 2.8 has a new HDRI feature, which is pretty super sweet. Um, so today we're taking a look at them. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at some HDRI maps um, that are now defaultly built into Blender. You used to have to uh, add them on yourself, but now there is a, uh, a preference you can do that uh, you can use them by default. So it's really cool. We have the standard uh, shading mode right here. Uh, which is uh, which is solid, of course. Then so we can go over to the material mode, which is look dev. I mean, if, if we go to that, you can see that the lighting kind of changes a little bit between solid and and look dev right there. You can see I have one single point light in the scene right now. If I go into my camera, uh, you can see if we uh, downsize this shading right here, you can see we have this little ball, which is of course our HDRI. And we can we can click this and then change the uh, the lighting of the scene. Uh, by using different pictures here, which is really pretty cool. So right now we have, what is this one, a forest, then we have uh, night, then we have noon, studio, and sunset, which is pretty super sweet. So we can also rotate them around. You see the, the lighting changing there, which looks really, really, really cool. We can, we can rotate them, we can turn the background on or off, um, which is really nice, and have the background be influenced by the... Um, by the color of course it's really really cool and if you want to go ahead and add in your scene lights you can just click scene lights and now our point light will shine through just as it does if we were uh, on rendered viewport shading uh, so that's really really pretty cool uh, right there but the even cooler thing is you can actually add your own HDRIs by hitting this little cogwheel and going uh, scrolling down to look dev HDRIs and hitting add look dev HDRI let me go ahead and find our uh, our picture there which is just a, a studio model of an HDRI uh, that I grabbed uh, we can uh, go ahead and hit install custom light and you can see right there that there's the picture it is of a studio um, that I just grabbed really quickly for the tutorial we hit save preferences close that on out and now we can go ahead and go down to shading and then change this to that HDRI which is really really cool look at that all right so it changed we have that really nice HDRI I can go ahead and take uh, take background off now really really cool stuff um yeah it's really easy to do go out and get some hdris go make some hdris just go outside and take pictures with the panorama setting it's really really cool get your own hdi get hdris do some awesome lighting setups but that's it for today's quick tutorial hope you guys uh learned something new hope i was able to teach you about the new hdris and how to use them how to grab some and how to how to install some i hope you guys enjoyed it. i'll see you guys in the next tutorial but until then bye bye